Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for including this legislation in today's markup, the Common Sense Nutrition Disclosure Act. I also want to thank Representative Loretta Sanchez for co-leading this legislation, our joint efforts to clarify the proposed regulations and represent the needs of America's restaurants and other food establishments are critical. I'd also like to thank Chairman Upton and more than 90 other bipartisan members who have agreed to co-sponsor this legislation. At its core, H.R. 2107 is simple. It clarifies the intent and it simplifies nearly 400 pages of regulations so that restaurants and other food establishments can comply with it and so that consumers do have important calorie information to make better personal decisions. We're not here to debate whether or not restaurants should be listing calorie information. We're here to debate if this specific 400-page rule is workable, and it's not. It doesn't matter how much money or time is spent on compliance, it, it, it is impossible for food establishments to follow this rule. Specifically, the legislation requires restaurants that rely on remote ordering to label the menu so that their customers use the most, use the most and provide access to nutrition information. Use the most common source of that nutrition information. It also makes certain that small business owners and their employees are protected from frivolous lawsuits and criminal actions that could arise from honest, inadvertent human error. That's why I've met with stakeholders and other member offices on all sides of the issue many times this year. Each time we've asked how we could improve this legislation and this bill is a result of those efforts. Like many regulations, good intentions don't always add up to practical policy. This regulation tries a cookie cutter approach, treating grocers, convenience stores and pizzerias with endless combination possibilities, the same way as restaurants with constant simpler menu items, requiring pizza franchisees to post in their stores every potential topping combination, more than 34 million possible outcomes, when more than 90% of their orders take place over the phone or internet just doesn't take, uh, make sense. I don't believe that such an approach is workable or affordable. The estimates state that this regulation could cost American businesses more than a billion dollars to comply and over 500,000 hours of paperwork, one of the most costly regulations to date. And that's why I've introduced this bill. This is common sense legislation providing important transparency to consumers in a practical and flexible manner by clarifying, not significantly altering this complicated regulation. And I thank the chair and yield back.